if all these people, um, they're already so successful and they're still feeding themselves with positive stuff, don't you think that for us, shouldn't I feed myself every single day with the good? I like what you, you just mentioned about taking responsibility over your own money, yeah. having control. Uh, I wanted to backtrack a little bit on the part where we were talking about vision mm. and the, the, the part where you mentioned that your mother was your biggest source of motivation. Yes. And that was one of the reasons why you, you, you work so hard, yeah. right? You save money and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Would you have any advice for you know, people watching? Mm. You know, what if they don't know what's their why? They don't know what's their motivation? Do you have any advice for them? Even if you don't know what is your why, keep on doing everything. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what was my end game. I didn't know that I really wanted to be a business owner. I didn't mm. know that. Yeah. But I kept on doing so many things. And then I eliminate what I don't want to do. Like mm. for example, did I give up on my, on my um, career in musical theatre? Definitely, but that was not what I want to do. I have to test it out, mm. then I know, oh, this is not suitable for me. Mm. And that's okay, and, mm. and that's not giving up. I know society considers, wow, you didn't finish school, that's yep. giving up. Yep. But to me, right, that is really not giving up. That was making a conscious decision, and I battled with that for many years. Yeah. Because like, peers around me, are like, oh, yeah, you are, you, you are a person that gives up. Yeah. But, no, I asked myself very well, did I really give up because it was too hard or did yeah. I give up because I had a different vision? Yeah. And a lot of times when we set a certain vision, right, along the way, we, we change our minds. And people sometimes don't want to change their mind because they say, hey, that was the vision I yeah. set up for. But sometimes things change. Yeah. It, it's okay to change it along the way as yeah. long as you know that you did your best. And that's why yeah. it's so important to to do your best so yeah. that later on you don't say, oh, I gave up because it's too hard. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's very important. Exactly. And, yeah. and, and sometimes it's also about cutting loss. Yes. Right? Like when you know it's not going anywhere. Exactly. Right? It's better to cut loss than to, to finish it. Right? My insurance plans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My insurance yeah. plans. I, I, I cut loss. I lost, I think, $12,000. So imagine, my $40,000 that I saved, $12,000 got wiped out there and then the remaining I invested because I really believed him. He turns out to be not even a pilot in SIA, okay? Mm. He was like just this imaginary guy who disappeared. <laughs> and um, it, it's a friend's friend some more. Yeah. So, you know what? Lesson learned is it's just that we really got to be smarter. We really have to have control of our own money mm. and um, do things in black and white legalities. Mm. And that's where I learn all my mistakes and my lessons. And that is why uh, when I teach at the I Quadrant, I always talk about these things about making it legal, go down to the law firm, mm. get it signed. Mm. Because you never know and, and, and trust this word is huge. Uh. Mm. Yeah. What would you say is your, your biggest challenge right now? for the according. Right now, biggest challenge, I would say that it's grooming the right people. Because right now, we are growing to a different stage mm. in, um, and we want to be able to impact more people, more students. And yet, a lot of times, you don't know who are the people that you, know, you should be working in your organization or you should be partnering up with. Because one wrong move, can set you back quite a few months. And, and, and I think we're getting there, but um, a lot of times I pray about this to lead me to work with the right people. And a lot of times, profits can come first, right? Like money on the table is a lot and things like that. Then, you know, human nature starts to change. And yeah. that's why I remind myself to be really grounded that I lost my business before yeah. because I was not listening to my gut, not listening to God. Yeah. And, and, and that was how I lost it. So. I am even more conscious than ever that I really need to stay grounded. I only work with people that you know I, I can really work with, and, yeah. and and that to me is my philosophy. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. for those um, uh, for the sake of those view viewers that are watching, yes. You know, you mentioned about following your gut. Yeah. You know, in my belief, sometimes gut takes time to develop, right? Yes. Because it is because of the experience that you have been through, yeah. uh, and all that stuff. So what? advice would you have for like the viewers who are watching yeah. they're new they're just starting out mm. you know how do they develop this gut how do they mm. um, learn to trust it mm. yeah. number one try all things right yes like so mm. you you got to try all things but um, as you go to a particular thing let's say you are feeling really queasy like your stomach winds up you know yeah. you feel like uh, something is really off no yeah. trust it a little bit yeah don't go don't go ahead 
now and, and, and ask yourself what do you have to lose so let's say if I'm gonna partner up with this person and um, um, it's gonna cost me my entire company entire family no way like yeah. you know then I would start on small agreements first yeah. maybe let's work on a small thing first rather than the whole pie right but if let's say what I got to lose is my time then okay, I don't mind um, spending it with the person to see what he got to say because maybe mm. that could be an opportunity as well. Mm. So I think we got to really weigh mm. um, what is it that you're losing. Basically the can risk, you, the can, reward, yeah, right? Can you afford this amount? That time when mm. I gave away my company was my entire fortune. Yeah. Like my entire company, three years of my life that I've built it up for yeah. and I gave it away like that. And I didn't start small. I didn't start yeah. on a small agreement. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's just really a meetup, a uh, uh, understanding more, I think we should give ourselves that opportunity and not just say, "I'm so scared, I'm so scared." Yeah. A lot of times, uh, people who are scared, skeptical, well, they have no guts. Yeah. Because the truth is this. Yeah. It's so easy to say, oh, "I'm so scared, I'm not going to do anything." That, yeah. uh, uh, that's that's easy. Yeah. But it takes courage to say, "You know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to work it out. I'm going to yeah. see whether." This works yeah. because if this works, yeah. then my life could grow tremendously. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So all about making, um, from from what I can hear, all about making small commitments. Yes. Right along the way, but every single small commitment, give you hundred percent, no matter yes, what. Yes, that's right. That's right. right. Well, you had the mindset, right? Yeah. You you uh, you had the right attitude to do things since we were young, mm -hmm. right? And that's why whatever you do, you will succeed because it's not what you do, it's because of the mindset that you have, right? And, and I that feel, translates into the how. That's yeah, right. yeah. yeah, and that translates into how. I feel that that is so so undervalued. And that's the reason why you know we, we do this show because we want more people to uh, to understand and to learn. Right? Mm. It's not just about the knowledge and the information, but it's the mindset. What advice would you would you give to people to train their mindset, to build up their mindset, uh, in order for them to you know go out to the real world and to achieve what they want to achieve? Well, if you have a religion, I think, um, or if you don't have one, then mm. you read successful people success leaves clues mm. um, there are so many people in the world who are successful if you if you listen to what warren buffett says he he spends like five hours a day reading a book yeah. why is he still learning even though he's so rich yeah. because why is he still growing because it's so important yeah. and uh, i think it's so important to feed our souls every single day yeah. it's like can you imagine every day you somebody your, your whole environment tells you you suck you suck you suck and, yeah. and every day you have to make decisions on knowing that i suck i suck i suck <laughs> imagine what kind of decisions would you be yeah. making like horrid ones but yeah. if every day you feed yourself with positivity yeah. and and there can never be too much positivity i i feel mm. because in fact right most of the people that i listen to like every day i have a ritual mm. I listen to people's podcasts, uh, interview of successful people. Mm. So um, uh, recently, I was reading, uh, I was listening to um, what is the MMA champion's name, Conor McGregor. Yeah. Yeah. He is saying that you know, for him, he's not talented. He's just hardworking. Yeah. And every day, he also feeds himself with all these positive stuff. Yeah. If all these people, um, they are really so successful, and they're still feeding themselves with positive stuff, don't you think that? For us, for me, shouldn't I feed myself every single day mm. with good, with the good? Mm. So every day, what I do is I wake up, I listen to podcasts, I listen to music. I, it wakens my entire mm. day first. Positive music, right? Yeah, positive yeah. music that, that keeps me going. <laughs> I feel like yeah. putting my makeup, yeah. you know? Yeah. And don't listen to Chinese depressing music, you know? Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> you know those MTV uh, breaking up and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I think um, well, I mean, it's nice as well, but not your morning ritual yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. then and then right i would actually uh listen to interview stories of successful people yeah. and things like that at the same time every day i would take my holy communion because mm. i'm christian so mm. whichever religion you are mm. i think read your quran read your bible mm. read read whichever your mm. your, your your books Does and your you scriptures have a, yeah have a connection with yeah with, with uh spirituality right that's right way. have yeah. a connection with that and if you really don't have a religion at all then mm. then read into other people's success stories mm. and, and and see how they grow because it leaves so many clues for us to grow our lives and the moment you switch your state, right? Every day, can you imagine you're going to work, being this recharged bunny, mm. you know, and energizer bunny, mm. being recharged, and and you get to make good decisions. And 
wealth attracts wealth. So if you're in a state whereby you're positive, don't you think that you will actually attract a lot more opportunities in your yeah. life? Yeah, yeah, definitely, right? So yeah. for me, I think that's how you can start your day right, have a ritual and invest time in yourself. Because we invest away.